What's up guys? Today we're gonna take a look at the Modo tab in Mori and we start right now. Modo baking. So first off, if I go to right click up here in the empty field and go to Modo render. There you go. Then uh, the Modo render tab opens. And first off, we have um, the render swatch, the bake, and the setting. So I tend to use the bake. And the settings is you can use a local install Modo, but I don't have Modo. So what it does, default Modo, it takes, uh, I think it's a uh, like a batch command line Modo that's installed with uh, Mari by default and um, the bake one. So this is this is where where we tell it to to bake. So we have the bake presets and that's something we can install and um, I will take a look at that as well. So first off, let's take the AO for example here. So I have installed a few uh, extension pack ones. There, there's something called curvature high pass. For example, that's quite a clever curvature node. That's really good for doing um, edge breakup and uh, maybe like dirt in corners and stuff. Uh, but the most common, I guess, is ambient occlusion. So if you take take the bake preset, ambient occlusion, and in the preview window after a while, it, it's gonna load the geometry into a standalone or a internal Modo command line. So you send objects over to Modo now, and then you get some settings up here. So uh, I will be back when it loaded. Okay, so here we go. It, it's not the biggest interface and it's not even fast, so you can use this, but you have to take in consideration that it's not gonna be instant and it's gonna take time, especially, for example, the curvature high pass, that's really nice effect, but it will also take a long time. So um, you might fire off a bake before you go in the evening and uh, hopefully it's complete when you come back in the morning, but you never know. I had uh, bakes that was going on for maybe two days uh, on, a, on a, like a 4K patch size. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, we, have, we have the occlusion race, the distance. So this is something you can play with. But for curvature, I may, let's take I think the I'm I'm not really sure why it, the mm, the conversion feels very strange because this object is clearly not 15 meters but uh, I have to overcrank settings for Modo to pick it up so I think it's some kind of internal Modo scale because yeah you look look at that it's not 15 meters. Uh, you can play with let's let's try 90 in spread angle it's gonna be i guess uh, more contrasty so this is the hemisphere i guess from the node point from each point how it search so i guess 180 is probably what's default um ambient occlusion maybe you want to over crank this even more Let's take something silly here, 50. See what happens. Yeah, then we get a little bit more for like from there to there. So this is probably something I would bake for a base to make dirt maps and similar. Let's take something else. I'm not gonna bake this because it's gonna take time. Uh, so I have a few ones already baked let's let's uh, just see what okay so here we go so we have a few settings for um, 
the or the rainbow of occlusion. So we have downslope. We have a uh, up. I think it's a so it's like um, in it samples. I guess in one channel it samples a regular occlusion, and in one channel it samples an occlusion with a uh, with the emphasis on the direction. So you can uh, go through like the y axis. So it has something like that's more on the areas that has up uh, facing and the other one is down facing. So it looks a little strange. Um, so what you do, you set it to something, you look at the preview and then you say, okay, I want this pack size. I want it this bit depth and then you hit the bake button and um, then you go for a long extended coffee break or a night sleep so uh, I'm not gonna hit the bake button I'm actually gonna close it take a look here so this is a pre-baked ambient occlusion and as you see it's it's quite nice it's uh, much better than the the built-in one when you go to objects and hit ambient occlusion. So, so this is something I bake out. Corner rust. That was another effect. It's. Let's see. This is the corner rust one. Curvature high pass. Here we go. So this one is um, is good. Especially if you want to do something like, uh, um, for example, let's take a layer here. Where is it? There we go. If you would take something like a histogram scan or something, then you can uh, make masks. For example, like some kind of wear, wear and tear. And you can choose. And then you might break it up with something else like a uh, cloud. And you would multiply it. And maybe actually take a um, brightness look up let's take a brightness look up or a level okay like that normal okay this is the orientation slope um, so you have uh, if I would take so this is one. So it's baked uh, in the red channel. You get this. The green channel, you have this. And in the blue channel, you have that. So that's this is something you can use to um, make a kind of like collection of dust, maybe from top surfaces and down slopes. And yeah, so you have you have directionality. Uh, mask for directionality yet that you can use so what you do you maybe use a shuffle node to to shuffle out one of those channels because combined it looks like um, some kind of psychedelic uh, thing uh, so you you might want to take a channel out of it so rainbow occlusion that was something we looked at so this is one with a large spread uh, get some kind of strange artifacts here I think I overcranked and then I baked one more like a sensible one. So if we look at the, the red channel, make some gamma adjustments. Red, green, and blue. So they have a little different behavior. If you look down here, you can see red, green is more some kind of down facing blue up 
Yeah. So that, it's similar to, I guess, the orientation slope, but in a more like a, a tighter spectrum. So th that's something I usually bake out. What I, when I start a project, I bake out an ambient occlusion, orientation slope, and curvature high pass. I use that uh, for uh, some kind of procedural breakup and stuff like that. Bake presets in Mari. We have uh, the bake presets here, and I have actually in already installed a few here. The curvature high pass, for example, is not shipped with Mari default. To locate the location, so I have this uh, under my program directory, and the Mari folder. So in the bundle, the media and bake presets folder. So this is here where the original ones, okay, the AO for example, and I guess the, which one is it? Wood and some other ones that's shipped with the Mori. I have added a curvature high pass the rainbow occlusion i think that's also in the extension pack from jens Caffitz. so if you go to jens so he's he's working on the the next extension pack here so on the development more extension pack there's information so just uh, go and, and buy it it's it's re it's a no-brainer it's it's cheap and uh, there's a lot of nice extension to Mori. Uh, the curvature high pass is, is, is a good one, though it's a little slow, but that's not, that's just more the thing, I guess. So there, let's jump into the render tab. I just gonna hook up a few channels and render this logo. In the render tab now, let's take a look. So I'm not gonna dwell into this because I don't see any point using this, the render preset workflow at the moment. It's a little convoluted. It's poor feedback and everything, but I'm, I'm going to show you anyway, uh, so you can judge until they come up with something more clever. Um, I think it's actually easier to just export the textures and render it in the, a third party package. So, but anyway, we have we have it, so let's experiment what we can do. Um, so, so we have the render preset, and um, so I already pre-render something here. But what what you do, you hit the plus button. You say what channel in Mari, for example, I have a diffuse channel. Uh, let's let's actually take a look at what the diffuse is. So it's just a green color. So plus button, diffuse, and then you tie the diffuse channel to a to a render effect in the shader, in the model renderer, I guess. So diffuse color and hit OK. And hit the preview, it's gonna flatten the channel and bake it. And after a while, you're going to see, oh, there you see, now you have something there. Well, you you have shadowing and stuff. That's something you can't get when you have a shader in Mari. So that's a plus, but it's, it's quite slow and you don't really have any control more than adding a channel. And so let's, let's take something else. Let's say uh, roughness, for example, and let's say roughness there. Let's see what happens. Uh, preview again. And now it bakes down. As you see, it takes uh, a while. It's not the best feedback. So let's take a look now. We have roughness. So 
what do we have in the roughness then? Uh, let's look in Mari now. So my channel looks like this. So yeah, you see the the dark values are shinier down there. So one thing, it's it's very the preview but window is very small. So yeah, I guess if you would have a, like a separate set up a separate uh, modo engine maybe or on another computer or something but yeah i never use this first off i don't use modo so when i texture stuff it's kind of always inverted anyway because i use use render man and previous to that was arnold and they have similar roughness but it looks like for example if you look at the roughness here so in uh, well, this is kind of random man actually. This is random man values. So something, something dark is actually shinier. So uh, that's that's that will work. Um, but yeah, it is is it is quite slow, and especially if you have a big character, it's gonna be a lot of baking, and uh, it, it works on small contained stuff maybe. So I in I don't use it. I just want to show you that it's there and um, yeah that's it for today's modo session so that's it for today and as usual if you want to support me just go into my blog or my youtube channel and hit the like button and uh, remember to subscribe and uh, the bell notification icon on youtube is a is a night and nifty thing because Whenever I put stuff up, you're going to get a notification and you will be the first there to watch it. Thanks for this. Bye bye.